Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One to be exact, that is. AKA Illmatic One Two Four, and not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jersey is right here on the back of my mother sucking chair. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on out there in the land where y'all live? You did, but hey, man, we back, we back, we back with another reaction video, man. And I mean, this right here has got to be a epic, super duper epic reaction video, man. Can y'all dig that with a basketball jack? <laughs> Tough acting to nothing, baby. Shout out to The Diamond Life. The Diamond Life for reporting the news. You did. But as y'all can see from the title of the video, man, this is my reaction to The Diamond Life saying George Floyd and Derek Chavin, Chavez, Chavin, had a connection. Okay? Say what? Shut your damn mouth. Now, as y'all know, man, y'all know what has been going on in the news. A lot of rioting has been going on. Okay. COVID-19 is still prevalent. The country is still shut down. Okay. People can't go to the grocery store in Chicago, man. Because of the rioting I don't know like It ain't like that everywhere But it's like that in Chicago Cause I look at all the brothers in Houston They be all off in the Target and stuff With no problem But I'm pretty sure they did their little share Down there or This is Fake But it's real here Okay But man there have been a lot of developments coming out about George Floyd, man. Okay? The case, I told y'all I was going to give y'all some more scoop, man. When I went live that night and I was telling y'all the real. I was giving y'all the 311. Okay? I was letting y'all know exactly what it was and exactly what it is. Okay? Now... When I was live that night, I was telling y'all a tale about when I went through the same situation. Now, people can question if what I went through was real or not. My ordeal here in the city of Chicago was it real. What I went through, was I stereotyped for being a black man in my neighborhood? And yes, I was. I never thought this could happen. I never thought this happened to people like me. Law abiding citizen, family man, working man. Okay? But it happened to me one night, man. The same situation that he went through, I went through. So when I seen that, man. And the way they breaking it down and they showing us all the video for I told y'all the ho the night they was riding in Minnesota. Y'all can go back and look at that live. It's a whole hour. I was letting y'all know, man. I was looking at it and I was getting information from people. Because I know what happened. Because I went through that. It seemed like it was reenacted, man. I went through that whole, it was four officers that did me the same way. They all was riding in their own cars. Alright. I got the proof. It's my docket sheet right here. That's what they call it right here. This my docket sheet right here. 2006. Let me show y'all. I'm going to show y'all the prints. of when it happened to me. But I stood up for the neighborhood, man. Look at my prints right there. Look at that. Y'all see that? Those are my fingerprints. Right there. Okay? They wouldn't give me my mug shot. 
I got the report right here. The arrest report. Right here. 2006. I got my expungement for the case, man. When the city of Chicago expunged the criminal case. Right there. Alright. I got the proof right here, man. Now I'm going to tell y'all what they said I was arrested for. Because the same thing he was arrested for. Well, not the same thing, but it was somewhat. They said forgery for having what they call it being fraudulent. Okay? Now, when I heard that that was the situation, I was like, why would. The business establishment call the police. They know who this dude is, man. Alright? And it just came out. He was a security officer with Derek Chavin. They used to work together. They had the lady on the news. She was talking about, yeah. He was working there, working for us for a year. And the other guy was working there for 17 years. They had him outside. He was an off-duty piece of peace officer. That's what they call it. When you're doing security and you work for the police department and you're doing a side gig, they call you a peace officer. He was a peace officer. So all this probably was premeditated. That's how it's a connection. It was premeditated. And then, shout out to this YouTube I just discovered Oh so live Shout out to you young bro He was saying a lot of factual information He was just saying That this incident Occurred three times that day In three different parts of the world Paris, Madrid And in America Simultaneously In the words of Dr. Emmett Brown From Back to the Future But seriously man The same incident happened and he was on a man's neck And they were black men Three times Three occasions So the same thing that happened to me that night Damn near 20 years ago almost Now 2006 is 2020 Almost 20 years 16 years almost Yeah 14 years ago Something like that but it all happened at the same time. No telling how many people it happened to the same night because I was locked up with the neighborhood. I'm talking about real mother suckers in the neighborhood. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And everybody knew who I was. They knew I had a family and everything. And they was trying to figure out what the hell you doing up in here. Even the sergeant that came and talked to me because he knew my cousin, my cousin, the detective. He like, what you doing up there? I'm trying to figure out the same thing. Now let me let me read what y'all. I'm gonna read what the the report said, okay? And I'm gonna tell y'all how the real scene played out. Now this is what they said in the report. Cause once again, like I said, man, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. This is the report right here. I made sure I got this from the police, cause I'm gonna put this in my book. I'm going to make a movie about this. Now, this is what they said. This is the doc right here. It was like, this is a on view arrest working. The third district. Now, I guess they got the, the I guess this is the event number. Because I used to write, I do security. I write reports too. Okay, it said, to wit the subject was curbed. I was parked. They said for a traffic violation. Now, I had just came back from filing my taxes. First time my daughter mother let me file my taxes, but file my daughter on my taxes. I came down St. Lawrence, 61st and St. Lawrence, made a right turn. I didn't see no police officers nowhere. It's a stop sign. I pulled right up in front of my domain right here on 61st Street. I turned the ignition off. There was no traffic violation. T 
turned the key off. All I seen was wellers. That's the police sirens and stuff. Four cars just came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Why did it have to take four cars to come out of nowhere? Y'all get where I'm coming from? Four cars. Four officers, man. They pull up to me. Tell me let my window down. They come and they draw with their pistols out and stuff. I'm like, what the what's going on? Now I got police officers in my family. They say always cooperate with the police. They tell me that. So I'm cooperating with the police. Like once again, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and it will be held against you in a court of law. Now, let me show y'all how real it is, man. Ain't no joke. Now, police officer approached the vehicle. One on the passenger side, driver side. White man, white woman. It was a Mexican officer and it was a black male officer. They were standing off to the side. White officer was like, stick your hands out the window with your keys. Take the keys out the niche and stick your hands out the window. That's what they, that's proceed. I did cooperate. Then he pulled me out the vehicle. Stopped patting me down. Then he pulled me over to the back of the car. The Mexican officer came and detained me and put me in handcuffs. Then he took me to a squad car, put me in the car. Same scenario as George Floyd. This I'm not saying a damn thing. George Floyd was talking to them. You see the video. He was talking to them because they saying that him and Chavez, the Chavin, they knew each other. All right. So that's why he was like, "Man, what's up, man?" He got caught up. That's what happened. Chavin got caught up because. They was they probably I ain't gonna say what happened with me. They was joy riding. It was four officers. They was from four. They was from three different locations. I tracked every officer down myself. Got their star badges. I found their star badges. I went to every district myself. Yeah, I was tracking them down. I was trying to find out where the white dude was from. I found out where the white officer lady was from. The third district right over here on 71st and Cottage Grove. I found out where the the Mexican dude was from and the black dude. It was from 111th Street. I found that out on my own. Did my own research. My own homework. Because I wasn't going to let them do me like that. A black man. I stood up. They, they, They picked with the wrong one that day. For sure they did. And my daughter mother got me a lawyer. His name was John Elias. When got me, I got me a lawyer. I retained him. I was unemployed. My grandmother died. We had the same birthday. I'll never forget it, man. Well, she died after. She died in 04, but this was 2006. But it was a lot of stuff going on. I had got laid off. It was a lot of crazy stuff. Like, it's the same time right now. Coronavirus. I'm laid off my job. I do security. About to go back to work. Hopefully. If y'all blow me up on YouTube, I thank y'all for real. <laughs> Because y'all know I'm an entertainer. I don't supposed to be doing nothing else. Play basketball, rapping. Stop playing with me, cuz. But listen, I've been through it. I'm telling you, this is a reenactment. Now, I don't want to just start saying stuff. But I'm saying this is this is something different right now. This is a group that's attacking blacks again. And y'all know what I'm saying. I don't want to slander them and all that. But you know where I'm coming from. For real. And I don't know why the bump stopped. Okay, there we go. But, yeah, it's real, man. It's real. If y'all don't believe it, I never thought it would have happened to me. But it happened to me. But I'm telling any of you young brothers that look at this video. Even you also live. Shut your damn mouth if you're being detained by the police. Cooperate. Because they will kill you. You a black man. Okay? They will kill you. If you don't shut your damn mouth and cooperate, cooperate first. Next, get you an attorney when you get out. I don't care if you got to get a a public attorney. Get you an attorney when you get out and you fight it. Don't let them railroad you. I'm telling you, they can do anything anything to you because you start saying, if you start saying anything, 
They can detain you. Listen to the big homie. And they can use it against you in a court of law. I didn't say nothing. I been, this is their report. Now I'm going to read what they said. He said, during a conversation with the driver, we could smell cannabis from the vehicle. Had the subject exit the vehicle, performed the search of the vehicle, found a bag of cannabis concealed in the center console area of the vehicle. Subject placed into custody, read Miranda, etc. etc. Charge accordingly. Man, look, they didn't read me my Miranda. That's you got a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. Do you understand your your rights? If you can't afford an attorney, one will be up such and such, such all that, right? They didn't do that. That's what I'm telling y'all, man. They didn't do that on this night. They was joyriding. It was four officers. They was joyriding. They didn't do that on this night. I got law officials in my family, man. I know the law. Nope, they didn't do that. Okay. Then I don't. I wasn't smoking no weed. My car wasn't smelling like I got a daughter and a at that time damn near wife. Then they said they found a bag of cannabis. In the center console of my car I hit a Dodge and Trep in 95 The center console is where the gear shaft The gears are They tore that open They ripped my sh- open And said I had a gram of marijuana One gram This is this is another report Because the other report said I had a gram of marijuana This, this on this one said a bag my attorney had all that stuff, man. He had the transcripts. They was really trying to frame me in, in real room. They was trying to give me a felony, man. I was an athlete, rapper, all that. Scholar. They tried to railroad me, man. Because I used to get stopped. And I had a black female officer. I'll never forget. She said, when she stopped me one time, and they would just, you know, they do random stops. You want to see if you got your, you know, your insurance and stuff. She was like, wow. She ran my background. She was like, you've never been arrested. I looked at her like, wow, I'm supposed to be arrested? And she was a black woman. I couldn't believe it. Like, for real? That's how you going to look? That's for real? That's how you That's how you feel? I'm supposed to be arrested? Are you serious? I'd never heard a black woman ever say and she was a, a police. I never, I was like, it just messed my brain cells up like, damn. Unbelievable. But anyway, man, everything they wrote in that report was 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 false. They made it up, man. They told my they tore my car, my transmission was slipping. They tore my car up. You understand me? They tore it up. They was Tossing my stuff, the white lady officer and the male and the male officer. Now I can go deep into this story, but I fought that I fought the uh, the car case for three years. They held my car in the pound for uh, for three years. It it, it, it occurred ten thousand dollars worth of fines. They they expunged my what's the name my uh, criminal case right here. I'm gonna show y'all. They got right here. They expunged it. See what it says expungement. They expunged that. I didn't do anything, man. I didn't have nothing in my car. Nothing. I had just found my taxes. Pulled up in front of my crib. And all that happened to me, man. But I fought it. I stood up for this neighborhood. I showed did. I let them know they messed with the wrong one that day. Yep. They showed did. But anyway, man, we finna get into what this video is about right here. Because, like I said, this is a reenactment, man. It's happening again. So, y'all be careful out there, young brothers. Y'all protesting. Peacefully assemble. Listen to what I'm saying, man. Because if you don't, they're going to use that against you in the court of law. If they lock you up, detain you, or whatever, trust me. They're going to use that against you in the court of law. Same thing like they wrote the report. And he was, he was peaceful. 
He a security officer. He a law officer. He know what's up. He was peaceful. What happened, man? That's the question. What happened? They cut a lot out the video. We got a video right here. We finna watch it right now. So y'all ready? Let's get it. Let's go. Shout out to the Diamond Life for hipping me to the game. So here we go, y'all. Let's check out this actuality and see what this is about. Okay, I'm going to start right here. I want you to pay attention to the ground. You see the squad cars next to here? And this channel is called Don't Believe the Hype. You know I did the fire hydrant. But you see this gunner right here? And we know he goes into that front door right there. Uh-huh. We know that. So we let it play. I told you to take you away from your vehicle. All right. What I want you to notice here. Because they're going. They arrested okay. you. They're detaining you. They did There's me the no same way. Right here. Look at this line behind me. Where's that line? Look at the position of this vehicle. Okay. If he was in the front door and they removed him, how did he get to the damn near the other side of the street? But then we have to question what even street is this? How did he get from being. The inside of a, because this is another vehicle. This isn't the same vehicle. So how did he get in this position? And then now, as the video plays out, man, uh, he was saying police procedure is if they put you in the front seat of the vehicle, that means they're about to release you. So they probably could have said anything. They probably could have said. This is just speculating uh, My opinion He Got out of the front car He got out and tried to run Cause he's saying This is a different vehicle Where he was being Detained again You know Alright So They could have just said He broke There was too many people out there That's why they was They started cutting the video They started cutting the video Tape Because something else happened Like the man He knew him they were security officers. They worked together. He got caught up. Because now, what's going to happen after this? He probably was saying, I'm about to sue your mother. It's a lawsuit now. I know you, dog. Why you doing me like this? That's what the conversation was. I'm telling y'all what the real is. Let's go. Wow, this isn't the one. I want to back up just a little. Okay. Look at those. It looks like that's the fire hydrant where he was. You see those red things back behind there? Where is this? How did he get here and not next to that gutter? How did a different vehicle pull into the same... Like, how, Like where are the lines and everything? You see these lines behind them? That, that's not in my other shop. Do you see? This is not even... Looks like it's in even the same location. So how did he go from being near the gutter to being the other side of this car? Mm -hmm. That is where they're lying. That's yeah. where they're lying about even what it is. There's no lines. He's not near the gutter. He should be near the gutter, and he's not. He's on the complete other side, Man. which would be in the middle of the street. Yeah. But there's no line like this in the gutter we just saw. There's no no line like this at all. So we know they're lying. How did he get here? So we know this this film has been manipulated. manipulated. How did he get there? How did he get there from the front of a, one vehicle how did he get all the way behind this vehicle? Because this isn't the same vehicle. Yeah. Because in today's time, they got video cameras, see? They got surveillance cameras everywhere. People got iPhones, smartphones, everything, man. They got cameras everywhere. They should have body cams on right now. That should have been a mandate in that state. Because it is in Illinois, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Like, what the hell is going on, man? I had witnesses though, cause my daughter's mother, sister was staying with us, and she seen what was going on. Told my daughter's mother, my daughter's mother, like a lawyer, she is a lawyer. Came downstairs, started they witnessed it. So the whole, and she loud, the whole building woke up, and they witnessed what was going on. We had witnesses now, so they couldn't follow through on the plan. Let's get back to it. This is a different vehicle. Let's just go back to show you. See, this is that's a different vehicle. The numbers are different. This is, I believe, eight. I told y'all, it was eight four cars that pulled that up. Different vehicle. 
when we left, it was like two cars. Where did the other cars go? You see what I'm saying? There's no traffic lines. I was like, I was looking at this in horror, like, wow, I can't believe this is happening to me. Man, it's real. Where the fuck did the squad car pull up? That there's lines. Yeah. There's no lines. There's no lines. He's laying somewhere. I mean, he should be near this gutter. They pulled him out of this door right here. After they're all said and done, when the video jumps, that vehicle's a pulled up a little further and so we know no car could probably pull up see all the witnesses out there that car pulls up it's in front of this trash can so even here you see there's only lines right here to cross guard there's no street lines on this street and i believe this is 38th street so we're catching them lying because again now even the fire hydrant right now there, it makes me wonder the guy that was filming that day he was like a police practitioner or something he said he went to the academy and he was training the guy that was filming the most of the video where is he at because they witnessed the whole the whole scene where is that guy why nobody ever interviewed that guy the guy that was filming it talking to one of the officers that was doing a crowd control where is that guy at why nobody have an interview? He was the one that had the tape. His tape is all over all the media outlets, everything. Did he sell they they paid him off or something? Because where is he at? He witnessed the whole thing. He was telling the man, this is not police procedure. You know that man. The type of moves you put in the type of uh you know, the way you detaining him is, is illegal. Where's that guy? We don't even know his name or nothing. But he filmed the whole thing. Normally they will get the person that filmed it. You know what the news do? They go buy the footage. They buy you. They probably gave him three, four million dollars and made him sign a gag order or something. Yep. I mean, even in this other shot, where's the fire hydrant? Keep my five million dollars. I ain't gonna say nothing else. I swear to God. Because y'all know what happened to me, and I still can sue y'all. And I mean y'all. Do you see? Where is that line right there? Because y'all tried to mess up my life. And still holding that over my life. Still holding that over my head to this day. That's why I called it the evil eye. Why I said the evil eye. Evil Illinois. And I'm going to plan. You don't see it. So did they take him around the corner and reshoot this? And I'm surprised my brothers and sisters ain't with me on this. And they ain't been helping me. Cause it happened to me. That's why I made my so muse the way I made it. Cause it happened to me. That. And let me say this: all the looting is done by the government. The government will. This is what I bet they did. And I'm gonna say this to give it to everybody. What they did is went to Target, and I bet all shop shipments to Target stopped today. They said, "Look, you guys gonna take an L, lose a couple, you know, hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise, but we gonna send our guys in to start the looting. Cause that's what they do." They send in their guys, and niggas is so stupid, monkey see, monkey do. Why all these niggas who just got stimulus checks running in there? <laughs> wow. Please explain that to me. And that make you hate niggas. You know what they went from? This is why the government sends goons in to start looting. Because it takes the pressure off these pigs. Yeah. So we're going to end it on that, man. If y'all want to see this man's full video, go to Don't Believe the Hype. Right now, you'll find it, man. He released it one week ago. But listen. If y'all think this stuff is not real, it is real, man. This can happen to you. Your mama, your daddy. Anybody you know that you care about, it can happen to, man. Because it happened to me. And I thank God that I have people here. In the city of Chicago, man, that know me and care about me, man, because if they didn't, I'm not saying anything bad about this situation, but people found out too late. Because he didn't even get a chance to make it to the police station because of what he knew. All right. But the whole point of this message is. Cooperate so you won't put yourself in a situ in a predicament 
That's the whole point. You gotta, when you know it ain't right, sometimes you just gotta be quiet and then fight it. Fight justice the right way. Don't take matters into your own hands because they will use that against you in a court of law. Or you probably won't even make it to that point because they is the law. That's the judge and the jury right there. Until you get detained, until you go to court. But while you out there, that is the that's the that's the that's the judge and the jury right there. Yep. So y'all be careful out there, man. For real, for real. You know I'm rocking with y'all, man. LC the one baby. For real, for real, everything in the game. I got a whole nother theory about what we should do. And tell Farrakhan I said this. Shout out to Minister Brother Farrakhan. Start the million man fly. Cause that's the only way it's gonna be right for us, man. We gotta go back to where we came from and build our community the right way, man. It's your boy LC the one baby. We're finna get up out of here, man. It's your boy LC the one baby. LC the one be exact that is. AKA Illmatic One Two Four. And not the motherfucking game knows, man. Like I always said, man, keep it pimping in the voice slipping, cause they will get your motherfucking ass. If you slip on that motherfucking banana pill, you dig on top of me. And like I always say, man, church on a reverend guy. We're gonna fully shout out to my LC Nation, my LC gang game, my LC crowd. Need y'all like this video, share this video, comment on this video, and most importantly of all, man, y'all better subscribe to my YouTube channel, man, and turn that notification bell button on so y'all can get more exclusive dope content from Pimp Play Against Hustle. All about mine, baby. And like I always say, man, church on a reverend guy. We're going to five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Church and them. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. Uh, and for all y'all niggas out there, man. Yeah. They're saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey, man. Use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a duplicate. Use a duplicate, nigga. Yeah. Use a duplicate, nigga. Use a duplicate. He's a dude, nigga, and I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig on time about from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You did now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Stood up with the hood on it. Stood up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up custom with the pockets on it and stuff you dig what I'm talking about back printing sleeve and print you dig what I'm talking about prints everywhere then I got the yoga pants you dig what I'm talking about joggers you dig what I'm talking about for men and I got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies you dig what I'm talking about look at that she look comfortable with it uh huh then I got the sports bra you dig what I'm talking about get the sports bra you dig what I'm talking about the back print print you dig what I'm talking about the back print print you dig what I'm talking about we ain't playing no game and then I got the yoga pants for the ladies you dig what I'm talking about biker booty shorts you dig what I'm talking about for the Put that piece can round out. You dig on top of Then I got the, the yoga leggings. You dig on top of So when she jogging and everything. And I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig and I got the, the custom socks. You dig on top of You ain't gonna find them on socks like that. Nowhere on the planet. And then, last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You dig on top of Then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print. Look good. Then I got the Illmatic one. My street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig on draw screen back and then I got the real backpack you know what I'm talking about LC the one look at the back look at the front you know look at the top you think I'm talking about everything is looking good you think I'm talking about and then I see the world's neighborhood and then I got the X star iPhone 10 case you think I'm talking about and then I got the iPhone 6 case 7 8 9 let's order what you want and then I got the custom print you think I'm talking about LC the one baby and then I got the custom mug and when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my screen and then I got the snuggle Pillow, when you wanna get stuck with your lady, yeah.